What is biology? Is it just about reproduction or dissecting frogs? Yes, but it's also much more than that. Biology is a natural science concerned with the study of life and living organisms. This could be a lion or a snake or a mushroom or even bacteria. Anything that is living is studied in biology. The word biology comes from the Greek words bios, which means life, and logos, which means study and knowledge. So, biology is literally the study of living things in order to gain knowledge of how they work. As you can imagine, biology is a very wide subject. That's why we split it into different branches to make it easier. There's taxonomy. This is the science of classifying living things into different families, like birds, mammals, insects, and so on. Then we have anatomy. This is the study of the internal structures of organs in living things, like human beings or animals. Cytology is the study of cells and how they function. Histology is the study of tissues. No, not the ones you blow your nose with. The tissues that living bodies are made out of. Paleontology is the study of fossils. Embryology is the study of embryos. These are entities that will develop into offspring. And we have genetics, which is the study of heredity and variations. Basically, how living things pass on characteristics to their offspring. So, those are some of the topics you will cover in biology. Here are some things to know when studying biology. In biology, the cell is the basic unit of life. It is the most basic element in living things. It is able to replicate independently, so we often call it the building blocks of life. Genes are the basic unit of heredity. And evolution is the engine that propels the synthesis and creation of new species. So what does it mean to be alive? An animal, person or plant is considered to be alive when it performs self-sustaining processes like eating, sleeping, reproducing. Anything that will keep it alive. What are some of the characteristics of living things, or what we call self-sustaining processes? There's nutrition. So as opposed to inanimate objects like rocks, living things have to feed on a variety of substances to get the nutrition their bodies need. There's respiration. We all need to breathe in order to perform activities. Even though insects don't have lungs, they still perform respiration. The same with fish, who live underwater. There's excretion. The metabolic activities in our bodies generate waste products that we have to get rid of. There's locomotion, or movement. In order to carry out activities, living things have to move around in a controlled way. Even plants move slowly in order to face the sun better. There's reproduction. Living things have to reproduce new offspring or else their species would not survive. Then we have growth. Every living thing has to use the nutrition they collect in order to increase their size and grow stronger. Finally, there's response. Living things must be sensitive to external stimuli and respond to them, like moving away from hot climates or protecting themselves from danger. So now you know that biology is the study of living organisms. We know that the cell is the basic building block of any living organism. And we know that biology can be split into various branches like taxonomy, anatomy, cytology, histology, paleontology, embryology and genetics. 
obviously, in order for things to be considered living, they have to perform certain processes. These include nutrition, respiration, excretion, locomotion, reproduction, growth and response. Now you know some of the basics of biology, it's a pretty cool subject, don't you think?